Hi everyone. Alrighty. Uh, it's taken a very long time for me to get to this point. Um, but I'm here. I am finally uploading all the videos and all the footage that I filmed for my holiday. If you didn't know, if you don't have me on Instagram, you wouldn't know that I actually went overseas for two months. I was going to say a month. I went for two months and I thought I should film some footage. Um, so welcome. I'm just going to call this my holiday series basically. So we're going to be starting off first obviously with this video, which is the packing video. I have no idea what crack I was on while filming this, but I was definitely on something because I just, <sighs> I have no idea. Also, this is the first video with my new intro. I'm still trialing it out. I don't know how much I like it just yet, but yeah, that's my new intro. We've come a long way. I wanted to make a new intro ever since I dyed my hair red, but I just, I couldn't think of what. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos, including this one. Um, and yeah, I can't wait for you guys to see the rest of, let's say, the holiday series. I'm sorry, I'm really tired right now. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy. Bye. Okay, I've legit decided like a whole month before my flight to just like go through these boxes that sit under my bed and like put them into this little suitcase that I think I would like to take with me because like it is a, like a two month trip. So I just wanna make sure that I'm getting, you know, the best things from my closet. Okay, this isn't really gonna fit much, but we'll try. Oh, there's a spider. Ah! This one looks weird. I mean, they all do, but this one just like, scary weird. Can you stop? Did it fall? I'm gonna use the Hungry Jack's hamburger box. Squish! Oh, this mother ain't done. Now there is a spider on the floor. Oh my God, can you die? It's still not dead. I think it died. Bro, it's still not dead. I literally squished it. Okay, it should be dead now. I'm just gonna assume it's dead. But now I'm scared. <laughs> what if it has family? That's my dog's ass. I feel like that would be cute. This would be cute as well. Um, so my brother came into my room to help me with something and I did all the clothes, so. They're all in the suitcase. Didn't find any more spiders. I did find a moth. But that was like in another different area. But yeah. I do have my like carry-on bag. But I don't know. I don't think I have everything yet. But I did make a list of all the things that I want to bring with me. But I don't think they're all going to fit into the bag. So I'm going to have to organize either to bring that suitcase. Or I do have the small one that I got for my birthday. But I don't know if they consider that like a suitcase. Because I think you're allowed to bring like your own personal handbag and then like a carry-on bag. So this is my personal and then that would be a carry-on. Carry-on. What date is it? Yesterday was a month until my flight. So now it's 30 days. That's crazy. I don't even have my passport yet. Hopefully future Tiana has her passport and we're going. Okay, so Okay, so finally we got some news about my passport. So we're gonna go pick it up now. Which is in the city. But I'll show you guys when I get my passport. Okay, so I finally got my passport. I'm not gonna show you the front because it's got all my details on it, but passport acquired. I can now properly pack knowing that I am going overseas. Okay. Don't mind the way I look right now. I just finished filming a video. You'll see it after this one. <laughs> but I finally... I finally got my suitcase. My lovely dad bought me a purple suitcase. Because he knows how much I like purple. Okay. I just wanted to add in this little um, clip of me ranting for a second. You saw how excited I was that I finally got my own suitcase. And I got a purple one and everything, you know. 
I just want to talk about, I wish I had my suitcase here um, as, um, what's the word? As evidence, as witness, but I don't. Anyway, um, basically when I arrived in Macedonia, my mouth is bleeding, let's stop, <laughs> don't talk about it. Just, anyway, when I arrived in Macedonia, my suitcase had the biggest freaking like dent in it, in the corner. And I basically had dents everywhere, and I now have permanent scratches all over it. Keep in mind, my suitcase, all our suitcases, we wrap our suitcases, and it still got damaged. And I just, I was like, on the way back from Macedonia, because we didn't have the wrapping stuff, I was just like, yeah, I'm going to have to say bye to my suitcase. When we arrived here in Australia, I was surprised it came back in one piece, but it did have more damage to it. So if you work with baggage can you tell me what you guys do because now i know why it's not worth it to buy an expensive suitcase because they're just going to ruin it so if you are planning on traveling anytime soon don't buy an expensive suitcase because they don't give a fuck i'm just gonna take this lipstick off because i feel like it's horrifying i'm not gonna like fill up the suitcase just yet but i have um the suitcase that I was supposed to take with me sitting in the corner. So it's got some things in it. So I'm just going to transfer it. I have a crack on my tongue. My dad confirmed that we're allowed to bring 30 kilos with us. So that's what I'm aiming for. I don't know how much this weighs on its own. So this is the suitcase that I was supposed to bring with me. But it's very small. And then I have my little carry-on. Oh. I also have to set up, there's a lock on this one. I have to set that up. Louder than bonsai. <laughs> oh, I've got to get something from my parents' room. My dad told me to look for it, and I completely forgot until now. BRP! Okay, I couldn't find the thing that my dad was telling me to look for, but I, I found myself one of these, so that's great. My dad was trying to get me to look for one of those, like, weighing things that you just, like, hold and it weighs it for you. Couldn't find it. Anyway, let's get started! What a beautiful view. The lighting is going to be horrible, but you know what? Deal with it. Everything's mess. Everything is a mess. This is literally ginormous. I've never had such a big suitcase in my life. Okay, so I found a bunch of beauty stuff. Here's going to be my makeup bag. It's pretty big. I was like, this is going to take up half the suitcase. No, no, it's not. Yeah, so I bought this from Kmart. It was only like... I'm just going to say $20 under. I don't really remember how much it was. And yeah, it's one of those ones that has like compartments. And then on the other side is like for your brushes. A lot of the stuff that you're going to see is from Kmart unless I say otherwise. I honestly think I'm going to have to get another makeup bag just for like skincare and stuff because I have a lot of that. Here's outfit number one. I'm 100% bringing her with me. I don't know if I'll need this sweater. I think I'm just going to put everything in here and then just figure it out. On a later date. Hot and dangerous. If you're one of us, then roll with us. Basically, my whole objective to... Objective. Why did I say objective? Objective to my... Before my brother cut me off. What I was going to say is my whole objective to this, like, holiday. And, like, what I'm packing. Because last time, I bought a shit ton of stuff. So, I know that I'm going to buy a shit ton of stuff again. Now I just want to see what I put in my carry-on. I have no idea what I put in this. My other plan to pla to packing. My other plan to packing. So the good thing with these hard cover suitcases is it's literally like two-sided. I want to just fill up one side. My mum bought me a squishmallow for the plane. This lock makes no sense to me. Yeah. I think I'm done for today. <laughs> Alrighty, so today is packing day. Um, it's Tuesday. So it's like three days before our actual flight. I'm really scared, but I did do some shopping. So I want to give you a little haul of what I bought. So I did buy a few things for travel. I also need to put everything away. So I was like, might as well just show you what I bought. Oh, and give you a tragic story time. Okay, wait. I'm going to... 
So I went into Priceline because our price lines have just brought Milani and I really like their foundation. So I was like, I should probably get a foundation for my tanned color. Bad idea. I went in and I started swatching the colors. This is the color that I ended up picking up. I think it's too dark. It's light beige, but we'll make it work. The packaging is different. Anyway, I walked in and I started swatching like the colors on my hand and I was holding a drink, like my cha time, um, a salad, and then I was holding two bags. So my hands were pretty full while I was doing all this. And I was like, okay, I need a tissue because I've got too many swatches going on. And I literally put my drink in this pocket. Like I just put it in there. And then I bent down to pick up a tissue and my drink just fell out and spilled all over the floor. The whole cup broke. And I didn't even get to sip anything from that cup. I just wasted a whole char time in Priceline. And I was so embarrassed to go back that I literally Uber Eats a new one. Moving on. Then we bought some makeup wipes. I know they're bad, but I just thought it would be a good idea to just like refresh. I then found these. They're from a brand called Moxie and they're called Bare Faced. And it's literally like pads like makeup pads that are infused with makeup removal remember with the makeup remover and then you just put some water on it and apparently it just turns into a makeup like cleanser so that's pretty fun i bought a powder foundation never tried this bought some period uh, pills got an atomizer and i got a little pink one. Oh, this is chemist warehouse by the way I think I bought majority of what I need, but that's why I want to pack today, just in case I've forgotten something. I also feel like I need a fake tan again, because, like, my hand looks really dark. Oh, what is that? Ew. Anyway, <laughs> here's a little atomizer. What's the... <gasps> How do I open it? Oh, I bought the Bondi Sands Gradual Tanning milk so i can put it over this while i'm there um and then i got the um colossal curl bounce i need a poop okay then i went to mecca um i went in i wanted to buy the nars concealer in like this color but i was like okay how often am i gonna fake tan like for me to buy the nars concealer so I just, I want, then I wanted to get the Morphe one, but they literally had no colors left. So I just found Mecca's company, like Mecca Max, and I bought that. And then I bought the NARS mascara so that I can have on the plane. So that when I arrive, I can put some mascara on. Ooh, that's a really pretty bottle. Ooh, I feel like I'm gonna love this. I did buy some clothes. I'm not gonna try them on. I then went into Valley Girl. I bought this. I bought this shirt and sweater set. I think it's like a dress, to be honest. It's pretty long, and it was on sale. It's fifty percent off. I've been really into like shirts and sweater vests, so I've been buying a lot of them. I then bought this one. I thought it was. It'd be a cute addition. I don't know how I'm gonna style it just yet. I don't think I'm gonna bring it with me. And then we went into Belly Girl because I needed to buy something for our birthday and I couldn't find anything and this is the only thing I could find. So I'm probably gonna style this. It's like a cropped shirt that has like a tie up thingy. It's all right. Anyway, so yeah, that's everything I bought today. Let's go to my room. Okay, I put him down to sleep. Now to try carry this heavy ass, big ass suitcase. I hope it doesn't hit him. I feel like it won't. I think that's enough space. If it's not, I'll obviously move him. But I just thought it'd be cute to have that there. Also, I'm not gonna be filming on my phone the whole time. I just, it's easier right now. <laughs> oh my Jesus. He has more than enough room. That's plenty of room. I don't know what to pack first because like 
I can't pack my full makeup bag because I still need some of the things, obviously. Okay. In this box, this is basically all just like beauty stuff. Another thing, I think today I'm just going to dedicate the whole day to just like packing and all that extra stuff. Oh, I gotta call my mom real quick. Okay, so this is what I'm working with so far with like clothes. That's my maybe part. That's my. <coughs> Jesus Christ. That's my maybe pile. I'm waiting for my mom to come home and then I'm gonna ask her like if I should bring them or not. These need to go in the like zipper compartment and then all these just need to be folded. And this is everything that I'm bringing with me. So yeah, I also need to clean out that bag and this bag. And I also need to figure out what jacket to bring. Look at the state of my room. Okay, so the things that I'm like 100% sure on is my tops. So I'm going to fold them up and put them into one of the things. This is the medium one. If you're going to learn anything from this video is don't fold your clothes. Make them into a nice rectangle type shape. I don't know. That, is that a rectangle? And then just roll. It works so much better. I don't know what I should put in the large one. I mean, I'm assuming that they're expecting me to put bottoms in there, but... Dude, it's actually so convenient. I thought this was dumb. <laughs> this is the large one, by the way. This is what I'm talking about. I do want to say, though, Kmart does have, like, a bunch of traveling stuff. And they actually have, like, another packing cubes set. So if you're an Aussie and you need some traveling stuff, go to Kmart. Just don't go for suitcases because they never have any. Fun fact about all the skirts that I wear, well, most of them. Most of my skirts are actually skorts and they have shorts in them. Like, this is shorts. I genuinely think most of my things are going to fit on the one side. It'd probably be like one and a half. Since when am I just keeping cash like everywhere? Oh my god, there's so many wrappers in here. Like two chains, biggie. Oh my god. Even drugs. And a dollar. This is a weird question, but like, <clears throat> what if while you're packing, an insect gets in your bag? That's not your fault because you didn't put it there. Honest question. Did I not buy two of these? I need to pack undies. Ah. Oh. Why my ass hurt so much? I feel like I can't finish packing until my mom gets home just because like a lot of the things I need her advice on. Okay, let's do my carry on then. I don't need her advice on that one. Thank fuck I have one of these time limit things on my TikTok because ugh, I just get distracted. I don't know. I made a list of like what to bring with me, but I don't know where I put it. Here's my travel bag. This is the squishmallow I bring with me. Her name's Regina. I need to put undies in there. Don't have that. Moisturizer I put in here already, right? I did pack some stuff already. Notebook. Bye. Power bank, which needs to be charged. My brow stuff. I'm just going to pack this with you. So face cream, masks. So for brows, I'm bringing the Benefit Brow Contour Pro. And then I'm bringing this little Anastasia brow gel. My earphones, where are you at? I'm going to charge her. Everything that needs to be charged, I'm going to put in a pile over there. My hairbrush, deodorant, I haven't figured out yet lip balm my cleanser i'm not gonna pack my cleanser because i bought makeup wipes my ipad i bought a pen mascara am i even in focus my hard drive my headrest my driver's license i bring this little zero sebum powder from etude house and then i'm bringing this foundation it's just a fenty foundation it's really good and you can use it with your hands so then i have some fem fresh eye mask Oh my gosh, she's packed. Okay, I'm gonna fill 
my backpack now and I want to see how everything's going to look with all the shit that I'm putting in there. So switch, headphones, beauty stuff on my pad, word search, notebook. That's basically it. This is actually a really good backpack. Don't look at me like that. Okay, so it's the night before we leave. It's almost actually the day. <laughs> it's almost 12 o'clock. But I've finished packing. Um, I just had a little scare. I'm gonna blurb that out because I probably shouldn't be swearing. But I literally was just changing out of my clothes that I was wearing today. And you know when you take off your pants and like the sock comes off with it? Yeah, the sock was coming off with it and I just let it happen. And then I was waiting for the sock to drop. The sock never dropped. And I looked straight through the pants and the sock has just disappeared. So I've, I've lost the sock. I have no idea where it went. But yeah. See you tomorrow morning. We've got to wake up pretty early. 7, 6 o'clock. This bad boy that's joined me. I'd probably deal with that, huh? Mm. But yeah, see you guys tomorrow.